I actually had these nifty little tabs um, that came off of my tea and whatnot, tea jugs, and I would save them for this occasion. I knew someday this was gonna happen, so I figured I'd save them. Don't know where they're at, so we're gonna go ahead and use this. But uh, pretty much all you gotta do, just heat it up, and go ahead and try to heat up most of the whole, it'll start getting really shiny looking and stuff, and you'll know that it's heating up. But, uh, let's go ahead and open up this garage door too to get a little ventilation going. That's sweet, it actually stopped raining too, so that's a plus. Maybe, it's, ow, crap, that hurt. Just jammed the crud out of my freaking elbow. All right, so pretty much, damn it, that hurts. Ah, I'm gonna rub this on here, rub it, rub it, rub it. Ooh, I can smell it. You wanna, when you first start doing this, like there's just a crack. There's just some kind of crack here, about that big. And um, it was really weak, you could press on it and it would squish it down. So what I ended up doing is uh, melting a little bit of the edges around and then I melted some of that and I just kind of kept building it up, building it up until it is what it is now. So far it's holding up, no problem, but I wanted to go ahead and finish filling it in right here and then right here also. There's a little bit of, uh, I don't know, it just doesn't look as built up as the other side. So I figured I'd go ahead and try to fix that and show you guys, you know, what I did to, to make this work. I didn't want to film this at first, I wasn't going to, but seeing as how it actually worked, I figured I might share it. If you can't pay to get this, get your kayak professionally repaired, this would definitely work. All right, sweet. Now we'll just take a little piece of this and try not to inhale a lot of this plastic. That's what we're gonna do. The little tab thing was cool, but this actually works a lot better able to just burn off the section that I want. Put a little heat on it and it starts melting it right away. It's just bonding perfectly with it, the pre-existing uh, jug that I put there. And that's pretty much all you gotta do to repair your kayak. You just wanna keep going over it and making sure that you've got you know your cracks and all that sealed up. When it dries up, it's gonna look a little bit different than this. It won't be as clear. It'll be more of this white color. Uh, more like, you know, like the jug itself. Let's put a little bit more on there. Just gonna try to melt it right off. Melt it right onto the kayak perfectly. I'm liking that, dude. That's sick. I'm just trying to build this up really good because it's gonna, I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna bump it, you know, on rocks. I'm gonna scrape rocks. I'm gonna drag it and it's gonna be damaged. So I figured I might as well go ahead, build it up a little bit and let the rocks naturally sand it down. You can go ahead and sand it down. I mean, it's, I don't think it's gonna hurt too much, but I prefer to let it naturally sand down. That way it wears down over time and uh yeah it's not the best looking deal but dude this is just perfect man and as you can see it just slides right off and then it's already starting to bond there so all i really got to do is just heat it all up and it's already set this works out really good Heat this side back up because I'm about to go and go ahead and do this part. That is just looking really good. All right, let's go ahead and work on the front. I'll show you guys what it looks like. I'm just, I'm pretty much just laying layers on this, building it up, building it up, <clears throat> creating the strongest cohesion. I'm trying to just create a really strong bond between the plastic itself or the plastic and the kayak itself. Again, I'm just going over this line. I'm pretty much cutting it 
uh, with the heat. And you can just pull it right off. I really like that, dude. That's sick. I wish I would have known that when I first started working on this. So I don't know if I mentioned earlier, uh, for this repair, I'm actually using um, just a cheap soldering gun, cheap tips, nothing special about it. It's like 10 bucks or something like that. And uh, yeah, it definitely works. It's, this will definitely get you back on the water in a pinch. While it does require, um, you know, a plug-in source, if you happen to have one on board your vehicle or close by your kayaking spot, that's awesome. If you don't, this is actually, I took the deal off of it. I didn't put it back on. It's actually got a battery cover here. And uh, this is a portable soldering gun. So with this, I could definitely make some quick repairs, you know, in a hurry if I had to. Let me show you what this looks like now that it's drying a little bit. It's definitely coming together, looking a lot better. I still got to build some up right there. I didn't see that. Let's go ahead and go back to this spot. It's a little dimple right there. We're going to try to get that fixed. And uh, to show my appreciation, since we're about to hit 300 subs, I want to go ahead and do a giveaway. I wanted to give away this mystery bait. We'll go ahead and figure out the details tomorrow or tonight and then I'll mention them tomorrow. So stick around for the next part of this episode. We're going to be out testing this whole kayak repair deal here. See if it's going to work. So I'll uh, see you out there on the water. Let you know more about this mystery bait and how you can win it. Stay tuned. morning folks welcome back to uh we're out here at schooler i was gonna say welcome back to another episode we're out here at schooler but my mind kind of just went blank it's, it's still like six o'clock in the morning i haven't eaten i cleared his hollow at me with me and uh i brought the kayak today we're gonna test this repair job that i did maybe it'll work maybe it won't who knows we're gonna find out and uh we're also gonna try to catch some crappie try a little bass fishing so uh, stick around, don't go anywhere. Maybe we'll get on something. It's schooler, there's a drawdown, so chances are we're gonna catch something. Rip so, a lip. Don't go anywhere. All right, we are off, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I, th I said I was, but I'm still stuck here. Oh man, this thing works way better. Oh yeah, I guess we need to kind of check. I didn't even think about it. I'm too busy trying to fish. So the main reason we're on the water, aside from trying to catch fish, obviously. Um, there we go. That's our little profile here. We need to make sure that this kayak is going to float, especially with our recent repair work. See how much water we got in here. There is some water, but I'm thinking it's from the rain we got last night. Um, I'll kind of keep an eye on that. If there's more water in there in just a little bit, I guess we'll know. So, I kept seeing a fish. Ugh, that's gross, dude. I went to put my... Let me get this shit right quick. This is disgusting. So, I was trying to put my rod in my rod holder, and there's a, <laughs> there's a freaking slug in there. It's all grossly gooey on the freaking butt of my rod. This actually does, this is a six pound braid with a one pound test diameter. And it actually does cast pretty well. A lot better than I was thinking it was going to, man. This reel is sounding bad though. There we go. Fish on. <laughs> Little chunk crappie. I 
I almost wonder if we need to be keeping these guys today. I'm gonna let you go. If I start nailing them, I might keep. Slimy guy. Slime life. Slum. Think we woke up Sam Squinch, y'all. Okay, what a freaking hell yeah of a cast. I've already got an idea on finesse stuff. Come on, fish. Oh, we are on for sure. Oh, it let go. No, it's still on. Oh my God. No, it ran me into the freak. He's wrapped around a log, I think. I think it's still on though. He's got me wrapped around the stinking log. There we go, he's off of it. I mean, Cletus, holla at me. <laughs> I got something for you. I got something for you. I think I found out what's chasing bait fish. Fish, there we go. Oh, dang. That ain't no, that ain't no catfish. He's running like a mug pug. Eh, I'm thinking maybe a two pounder. Oh my gosh, it is a catfish. Oh my God. Dude, are you stinking serious right now? Why? I guess so, dude. Flip or die. Oh yeah, dude. All right, well, here we are. We, we arrived at our second spot. Um, schooler was cool. I caught a crappie, a bass, and two catfish. He caught two bass. Two bass? So we did manage to catch some fish, but now we're out here at this secret ninja pond that I haven't really shown to a whole lot of people. It's like a hidden pond, hidden secret. <laughs> anyway, it's it's kind of out of sight, out of mind, and it's one of those spots where I feel like there's not a lot of people that fish here, and so the baits that they see, they're probably going to hit because they don't see them very often. Thank you. I think I just got waked on by a freaking chunk. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I didn't go for it. It came up so f so hard, dude, like there was a big wake. Oh my gosh, that was saddening. You could see it through the wind and everything, dude. That was freaking crazy. I am mind blown right now. That was a big wake. I th I, at first I was questioning, got it. Yes, at first I was questioning whether or not it was a big wake. Oh, that's a chunk, dude. A true chunk on the spook. This is my first ever spook fish, guys. Oh, he's only got the bottom hook. Stay chill, stay chill. Come on. Get in the yak. Yes. It's probably like a three pounder. I was thinking like four pound range. Ow, I stuck myself trying to get the shit out. Gah. It might be like two and a half, maybe three. It looks like an older fish though. It's kind of dark and nasty looking. Ooh, I stuck myself good, dude. I'm bleeding. That's not the fish blood, that's my blood, dude. 
Oh, that kind of sucks. I don't have my scale. I do. You do? I mean, I ain't super worried about it. It's like a two, three pounder. It's not a mega load on. Spotted guard just chilling. This is a fat little fish. It might be, yeah, this is probably a three pounder. Let's get it back in the water though. It looks like it just maybe hasn't even spawned yet. It's actually got a pretty fat belly. All right, let's get it in here. Damn, violently. I mean, aside from the fact that I caught that on my monster bass spook, that is my first ever bass that I've caught on a freaking spook, you guys. I watched him freaking swelling on it. I knew there was a substantial fish, dude. And I figured topwater would be a good bet here since uh, there's a lot of junk in the water. He's throwing the popping perch out there right next to that edge and something just came up and creamed it, but it completely missed it. That was a pretty good, ooh. There it goes, there it goes, he's got it. Oh, it's a good one. This was definitely a good, freaking good spot choice, man. Okay, well, quick update. Uh, about broke my ankle just now. I'm heading back down to the car so I can get another ride and uh, maybe a couple more baits now that I know what to what I'm dealing with out here. All right, and we're back. I don't know how much longer we got, so let's go and get it going. It's probably my wife right there. Oh, he had it, dude. He bit it. Got that bass though. He's trying to make a mad. Oh! Damn it. Just lost a bass. I watched him come up and eat it, dude. It was so badass. Right next to a giant guard, too. Ooh, I'm sure, oh, dude, I think a big ass bowfin just seen it. I just caught a, my PB bowfin. Oh, he got off, damn it. I shouldn't have been playing him. I should have just tried to get him out. Dude, that was bonkers. Yeah, it's really nice to be able to get out and fish for a little bit. More than a couple of hours. Got one. On the old chatter bezel. Bam, two pounder. Not a giant, but boom. Nice little fish nonetheless. Let's get it out of here. There's more fish over there to be caught. Ah, oh, Definitely had it though, dude guys just missed me hooking up on a freaking four pounder maybe a five pounder jeez boom i had to show you guys i just caught this five pounder man four and some change five pounder dude let's get it back in here i'm just getting blown everywhere bam just caught another chunk you guys on the freaking spook dude 